All right, we got a new box from dipyourcar.com. It's gonna be pretty sweet. May I just say the quality of the box is very impressive. Impressed, it's very nice. Always love the dipyourcar.com tape. Yeah, well, you know for sure when you're sitting waiting for the UPS man to deliver it four hours late, like you want to be sure it's your dipyourcar.com package and that confirms it for you. All right. Got a receipt. What is it? Oh, it's a dip sprayer. Fantastic. We got destructions. We got... What is this? Oh, the spare parts kit. Nice. Another mixer wand. Perfect. Awesome. There's the actual sprayer, and of course, the DYC turbine. Alright, so we'll be discussing how to thin your own plastic dip to make it thin enough to spray through your DYC sprayer or any gun, really. You're going to need plastic dip, obviously. This is the, the kind not in an aerosol can, but just the unthinned stuff that's made actual made for actual dipping and you need a thinner I'm gonna use xylene but I have naphtha and I've thinned with naphtha before for fixing stuff and that works good and you'll need something to mix it all in alright so there is 14 and a half ounces of plastic dip in these cans but uh, given that our quart jug is 32 ounces. We're probably not going to go ahead and use all 14 and a half since it's a one to one ratio of plastic dip to thinner. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just fill it with plastic dip till we're at 12 and then we'll bring it up to 24 with the xylene. Oh no. Careful. Alright. Extremely thick. All right. So it's advertised as fourteen and a half ounces, but emptied out there's still a lot inside the can I don't know if it'll even focus on that but there's not really any left sitting at the bottom and we're right at 12 ounces so there's that alright so if you guys are familiar with Plasti Dip you know that that's pretty thick for spraying and it is made for dipping tool handles in and whatnot but uh, we're gonna make it usable And that's 24. All right, so your xylene's kind of gonna have a tendency to sit on top of your plastic dip. So that's why, of course, you're gonna wanna mix it. And just a little disclaimer here, I've been told that xylene sometimes does not agree with certain rubbers, i.e. Uh, door trim or side trim things like that so use xylene as your thinner at your own risk all right so we don't currently have our drill because we left it somewhere and believe it or not the home depot was out of stir sticks all 
All right, after a while you should have a good thin plastic dip that's ready to be sprayed through whatever gun of your choosing. So let's put this stuff to use. All right, guys, it's a call back to our third video ever. We got out the wet sanding sponges again. The of our testing is a Fender from my 1986 Volkswagen Golf Westmoreland that uh, I did indeed keep the Fender from after it got totaled. Nice and smooth now. It already had primer on it, so it doesn't need a lot of sanding, but uh, should go on nice and smooth now. And we're just gonna let it dry out so we can go ahead and spray it. Okay, it's been a little breezy the past couple days and we didn't wanna set up the whole garage for spraying just to do one fender. So it's been a couple days since we mixed the Plasti Dip with our thinner and we're gonna go ahead and dip the car here outside. And uh, one question I wanted to answer that people have asked repeatedly, never really got an answer for, is what you do with the gun between coats. Straight from the horse's mouth, dipyourcar.com, I gave them a call. They said there's no need to clean the gun between coats. So we're going to go ahead and not do any cleaning between coats, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so you can see that from sitting a couple days, all the tint did fall out of our thinner. So... As with every time you're spraying plastic dip, you're going to want to mix it up really good before you put it in the gun. No tint left on the bottom, that's good. Alright, so I shook it up a little bit, but you can see sort of right, right at the 24 milliliters line, not milliliters, ounces. And uh, we're going to go ahead and set it up the spray fan and then give it its first coat. Alright, so we got it set up spraying a nice pattern, so we're going to go ahead and just lay the first coat on. All right, so my one little bit of bitterness here is that the straw can't get in there and reach that last little bit of plastic dip, and there's, I mean, there's a good four or five ounces left in there. So I don't know what we're gonna do with that. I guess we'll figure that out. All right, here's our finished product. Uh, we only got three coats in because we didn't use a whole lot of dip, but this isn't going anywhere, it's just to hang on my wall, so that's plenty. We didn't do the front ends either, but really this was just, you know, to get a feel for the DYC sprayer. And all in all, I'm extremely impressed with how it came out. Uh, my only beef is that it was exactly four ounces left over in the cup. And uh, really that's just a side effect of any siphon feed gun to be honest so it's not like I can complain about it but uh, you know four ounces on a project like this is a whole nother coat maybe. Alright guys that's it for this video I was really impressed with the dip sprayer system I can't wait to use it on a full car we'll have a video of that coming up here pretty soon we're doing a pretty cool car but I'm not gonna leak that just yet like comment subscribe let us know what you think of this video and uh, there's going to be some pretty cool stuff coming up that you're not going to want to miss especially if you like supercars so hit the subscribe button and we'll see you on the next video